This is the gateway to the Lost Coast. The inn here started in uh, 2013 about, but before that it was also another bed and breakfast. And then even before that it was a logging town in the eight, late 1800s to 1900. My name's Otis Brown, and I'm the ranch manager here. So this is a really great place to work. Uh, my entire family works here. My wife, Felicia, does all the organic gardening and floral arranging. And then my daughter, Layla, is the breakfast chef here. I never have to cut any living trees because we have enough trees that fall down as windfalls uh, that provides us with the firewood that we need to get without harming anything. This is Douglas fir which is a medium grade firewood. This is a white fir, uh, which I would say is a poor grade firewood. It burns very quickly. And we're having our first big storm of the season and we want to keep the end nice and warm for that. This is a hydraulic wood splitter. And you just put a big round of wood up here. Uh, you can pop it and uh, make more wood. Turn it on. So I learned a, a lot of my woodcraft skills from my father. Um, he was a logger here, uh, like a lot of kids' dads. Um, that's the main economic engine of this county, always has been timber. But I, I'll tell you what, I'd much rather work on this ranch than do logging uh, as we're actually trying to repair the environment here and set the So, in some respects, I'm a little more lucky than he was. My name is Jonathan Bowser, and I'm uh, a ranch hand at the Inn at Newport Ranch. Part of my duties include clearing the ATV trails, planting redwood trees, um, cutting firewood, uh, just kind of anything else that needs uh, repairing or maintenance or yeah, general maintenance issues. So this area of Northern California, right on the coast here, is pretty unique wildlife wise. We have the ocean out here and then we have these coastal plains right here too. On the other side of Highway 1 is uh, redwood forest and some mixed fir forest. And so it's actually where three ecosystems kind of intersect. So you get a lot of wildlife here. You get the marine wildlife. And then in this grassy area, you do get a lot of wildlife migrating through here. In the wintertime, you get all sorts of birds that come through here. You get a lot of birds that are even like more associated with the Great Plains than um, uh, more, more California. And then in the forest, you have all the unique species of the redwood forest. This site was heavily populated at one point. Um, and the dominant tribe here was actually called the Yuki. Now, there aren't many Yukis left. Uh, they were pretty much wiped out by the Europeans who came here to get the timber. Their women would tattoo three lines across their chin as a sign of beauty and they would use the sap of the poison oak plant as their ink for their tattoo and then the needle of the California nutmeg tree is the needle to apply that ink to their tattoo. Uh, now unfortunately uh, for the Yuki their, their tribal land held many old growth redwood which were valuable. After the gold rush uh, San Francisco Bay Area was grown by leaps and bounds and very natural resource hungry so immediately people came up here to the north coast to get the, exploit the redwoods. Now a European settlement after they'd driven out the natives here um, 
it was all about timber. And this town, Newport, uh, was actually a working seaport. Back in that time, there weren't many civilized roads coming here. It could take several weeks of travel by stage to make it to Newport from the Bay Area. Uh, so most passengers and goods came by sea. And to facilitate those people getting from the level of the steamer or the schooner up to the cliff top, they came up with a pretty terrifying invention, uh, a little something they call the trapeze. Uh, basically, a metal cage suspended from a cable drawn up by a huge steam engine that would lower down to the ship. You could get in and it'd pull you on. Now, why the town declined is basically they'd cut all the timber that they could with their available technology. And by 1900, most of the population had moved south to Fort Bragg or north to Westport. From then on, it, uh, population decreased more and more. Every day is a little bit different, and even like the tiny stuff, like little baby snails and stuff, it's just pretty cool and pretty unique. And uh, yeah, I just love looking at it every day. It's a very relaxed place. We have a very laid back lifestyle. A lot of people like to just come out here and hang out and forget their worries. It's nature at its finest. It's still pristine and raw up here. And I would just say, yeah, like if you hadn't seen this part of California before, it'd be definitely worth a visit. You won't be sorry.